Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. You know, in a previous tip, I showed you an online tool that you can use to remove backgrounds from clip art and photos and other elements. And that tool worked pretty well, but you do have to pay to use it. In this tip, I'm going to show you how to remove backgrounds from clip art and photos and other things using Photoshop Elements. This works with almost any version of Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, and it's pretty easy to do. Let me show you what I mean. On the screen here, I've loaded a piece of clip art, and let's say that we want to remove the white background and make it transparent. Now to do that, what we're going to do is to select the eraser tool. And then once we have the eraser tool, we're going to come down and click the magic eraser. Now the magic eraser is the eraser that has the little starburst beside it. And once we've selected the magic eraser, we're going to bring it up on the screen and put it on the white background. And you notice it's selected that part of the white background. We're going to hold the shift key and we're going to move it on to all the white backgrounds on the screen. And you can see now we've removed that background. It took us less than 10 seconds to do that. Now to save this and to retain the transparent background, we need to save it as a GIF file or a PNG file. Now that is pretty easy, but what if you want to move the background on a photo? Well, let me show you how to do that. I've loaded a photo here, and one of the things that you want to do after you've loaded a photo is to choose layer and adjustment layer, and then choose levels, and then boost up the level so that you have the photo so it looks the best it can be. Once you've done that, do the same thing we did before, and that's to select the Magic Eraser. And when you select the Magic Eraser tool, you have some settings here that you can change. One is called Tolerance, and the other is Opacity. But we're going to push the Tolerance up. The reason we push the Tolerance up is because we want to get wide swaths of the background. So we make sure that we've selected the background and not the, any other layer. And then we put our Magic Eraser tool on the background and click, and it removes a large portion of the background. Now the reason it removed a large portion is because we had the tolerance up. We'll try the tolerance again down here. I'm going to hold down the shift key and press that. Again, we got a large swath of our background. Now here I've got to be careful because with this tolerance it's probably going to take a little bit of, of this uh, black line on this sunglasses cord. So I'm going to push my tolerance back down to about 46. I'll hold my shift key and take that out. And as I press it, you can see that it's removing the background. And it does a pretty good job. If you remove too much, you can always hit Edit Undo. I'm going to push the tolerance down a little bit more and try to get this corner right there. And you see it took too much out. And the good thing is I can choose Edit, Undo Magic Eraser, and it puts it back. Now once you get it down to this point, you may want to move the tolerance down way low and hit the spots that it didn't remove, like right there. And then once you get it down to that point, you may want to just go to the regular eraser, push the regular eraser size up to something fairly large, and use it to get rid of the things that you didn't get out with a magic eraser. After you've got almost all the things out, you're probably going to want to use view and zoom to zoom in to get the parts that you didn't get. You probably want to change the size of your eraser brush down so that you're not taking out too much and then just take out the little pieces that remain. Once you have that, then you can do the same thing we did before, and that's to save it. Generally, when you want to save a photo that has a transparency, you want to save it as a PNG file. Now, you may be wondering, what else can you do with this? Well, one of the things you can do is you can change the background. Let me show you how to do that. First thing you want to do is load in a photo that you can use as a background, and I've got a photo of a house here. I'm just going to drag it right up over the top of that image. Once it's there, I want to make sure that I drag this image below the layer that I've just made transparent. And then I'm going to uh, select that size and make it fill the screen. So what I've done here is I've loaded in a photo of a home. I've put it behind our transparent background. And now we have a pretty nice image. Now if we looked at an image in full resolution, it would look really good. Anyway, that's how you do it using the magic eraser in Photoshop Elements. It's easy to do, works pretty well. Obviously on clip art where there's an easier background, it works a lot faster, but you can still work with it on complicated photos. Thought you might be interested in knowing how to do this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.